Is this the year of Linux on the desktop? Or was it last year, or the year before, or the year before? Is it next year? Well, if we're really going into the future in 2018, what the heck is a desktop anyway? Okay. Any iPhones in the audience? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, if by any chance you look at my blog, I've been talking over the last few months. In March, I decided that I would get completely off Windows after kind of dual booting with Linux, and I moved completely to doing all my IBM official work on Linux. Every application, I could get everything done on Linux. Okay? In early July, somebody gave me a MacBook Pro. It's part of a pilot program, I admit. And I said, well, yes, no, what am I going to do? So I will virtualize Linux on that. But, the, but everything I need to do for my IBM job, I can do on that platform too. So I have literally a choice of three completely different operating systems where I can do everything I need to do for my job. What's a desktop? You know, what's associated with this? And the more I use my BlackBerry or you use your iPhone or things like this, it will just change. The more things move into the cloud. So even asking this question about the desktop, it gets a little bit strange about what we're trying to do. So we're going to focus less on saying, what's the desktop look like? And much more on how do we do collaboration? Right? You may be at a desktop. You may have a mobile device. You may have something completely different. This is my slide with the IBM products on, to be clear. Okay, these are our examples of how we've built some Lotus software to run these things. And they run on Windows, and they run on the Mac, they run on, on Linux. Some of them are in beta, right? Different ways of connecting. Yes, there's email. Okay, there's word processing, spreadsheets. There's instant messaging, line of business applications, and so forth and so forth, all the way up. So I don't think we'll even talk about this desktop idea. What we need to do is we have to focus on things like usability. And so to that degree, where we are talking about a traditional desktop, stop copying 19, or rather 2001 Windows. That's not where the usability action necessarily is. Look at OS X as an example, right? From 2007. Right? There are lots and lots of good examples of how to do this. And by the way, just as an aside, open source needs some really good graphic designers. Okay? Um, now, I, I'm going to say this, you know, from, from a, way back in our OS2 days, right? You may remember we had this little argument with Microsoft, OS2, Windows. And I, I used to kind of from afar admire Windows from the perspective of user interface. It had really pretty windows. I think we're talking really ancient history here, right? But you know, the width, the, the little the, the decoration on the side would be just the right width, not a pixel too wide. And the colors would be just kind of right. They'd get psychologists and focus groups in there and they'd worry about how color schemes went. And I would say for OS2, we had three guys, a six pack in a basement in Toronto, saying, yeah, orange looks really good with purple. <laughs> okay, so uh, Linux and, and open source in general is not quite that bad. All right, but from a community perspective, if you start attracting some really, really, really top-notch graphic designers to be involved with it, you see this in some place. You see this, for example, in the WordPress community. That's certainly working. Okay, but you need more of that. 